Hello and welcome to an Amiga tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to send ADF files from your PC to your Amiga. Now this used to be really difficult unless you had a cat weasel, in which case it was a bit hit and miss still. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is a program called Amiga Explorer which you can purchase from AmigaForever.com. There are also free utilities that do the same thing but they are nowhere near as good. You're also going to need a DB25F to a DB9F serial null modem cable. These can be purchased off eBay and AmigaKit.com for very cheap prices. Now what you're going to need also is a blank disc, DSDD unformatted floppy disk, preferably formatted to 88, 880k in your Amiga and you're going to want Workbench 2.05 and you want an ADF file of a game that you already own of course e.g. Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker or Premier Manager 2 this is what we're going to be using to make the ADF from the PC to the Amiga ok, if you've never done this before and you've just installed Amiga Explorer you want to right click Amiga Explorer and click Properties from here you want to make sure the connection type is serial, the connection settings port is COM1 and the speed is 19,200 board. Now you want to go on options, you want to make sure the packet size is 512 and the max retries is 50. Then you want to click OK. From there you want to right click Amiga Explorer and click Settle. Then you want to click OK and since we're using uh, uh, Workbench 2.05 we want to click Yes. Now you want to come over to the Amiga and you want to boot into Workbench 2.05 and go on Workbench 2.05. From here we need to make sure the settings on the Amiga end are correct. So we go into Preferences. Then we go into Serial. And you want to make sure the board rate is 19,200. Input buffer size is 4096. Handshaking, RTS, CTS. Parity, none. Bits and characters, 8. And stop bits as 1. You want to hit save. Then you want to hit OK on the computer. And now you need to open up Shell in Workbench 2.05. From here you want to type exactly as I type and it is also prompted in the Amiga Explorer setup dialog. Type SCR colon space 2 RAM colon setup as displayed on your screen now. Then you want to hit return and then OK on the computer immediately after. From here, on the computer, you're going to see a please wait dialog. It's going to copy some files over from the Amiga Explorer directory so we can run Amiga Explorer on the computer and on the Amiga. Now it's prompting you to type exactly as I type RX space RAM colon setup. Then you want to hit return on the Amiga and then return on your computer immediately after. Now this may take a few minutes, but be patient as this process is the easiest way to do it. You notice on the Amiga screen now that it is booting a program by William S. Horse. And on the computer it's copying over the setup and then also a text file. Like I said, be patient and you will be rewarded. These files are going to be copied over to the RAM on the Amiga unless you have an hard drive in which case you could have specified it to copy it to the hard drive in the type SER to RRAM but you could specify your hard drive instead. 
but since I haven't got an hard drive I'm going to be putting it on the RAM and then to make it so you don't have to do this every single time you want to transfer files over we're going to copy the A Explorer program that will be put on the Amiga over to the WB Startup folder on your Workbench 205 disk right it says congratulations on the computer and that means it's done so now we want to go onto the Amiga we want to exit shell we want to exit Workbench 205 and we want to double click RAM disk as you'll notice there is an A Explorer and a readme.txt what we want to do is open Workbench 2.05 Then we want to open the WB startup drawer. Now we want to drag the A Explorer over to the WB startup drawer. Now, every time you boot up your Amiga into Workbench 2.05, it's going to run this A Explorer program, which connects us to the A Explorer on the computer. So, because we haven't restarted, we want to double click A Explorer. It's going to come up saying that it's connected. And we want to close WB Startup and we want to close Workbench 2.05 and RAM disk we want to also close. Now we want to eject Workbench 2.05 and we want to put in our blank disk. Now going over to the computer we want to open Amiga Explorer so simply double click it and as you can see we have RAM disk, empty, kit ROM and empty.adf so basically if you put a game in into your Amiga you can drag the ADF that Amiga Explorer creates over to your PC so you can store all your games on your computer so if fear of breaking your floppy disks you can always recreate them back up and so forth if you're conscious about that since we are going to copy an ADF on the PC we want to go to the desktop where I've got my Premier Manager to and if you see very well but there is Zool disk 1 and this is what we're going to be copying over and I want to drag it onto the empty floppy drive it's going to say are you sure well it usually does and now it says that 3 minutes are remaining so it says 3 minutes are remaining it actually takes a lot longer than 3 minutes so just be patient, wait until it's done and we will continue the tutorial. Now that the disc is copied over, you'll notice on the Amiga it says DF0 NDOS. Now we can rename this to the ADF file that we want and that being Zool. Okay, so to test whether the game has worked, we want to take the disc out, which is, this was a blank disc, it is now Zool. We want to turn off the Amiga, we want to turn it on. Now it prompts the disc load. We put the disc in, and the game should boot up. Here we have it, Gremlin presents, and then it should be Zool. In association with Chup Chups. And there you have it, Zool. So that's how you transfer ADF files from the PC to an Amiga. 
and vice versa. If you wanted to do it from Amiga to PC, you'd simply go to Amiga Explorer and then you would drag the ADF file, as I'm showing on the screen right now, to your desktop. And that would be it. Simple as. Thanks for watching. If this video is out you, then subscribe and stay tuned for more vids. Thanks.